what a wild Monday Night Call it was last night, and we had, or last night, last week, and this week, we have so many exciting matches. This is jam-packed, Mr. JVH. We have a ton of matchups tonight, some that I didn't even want. Isn't that <laughs> wild? How I can't even control my own company? Ace! I'm trying to been? control my narrative. <laughs> That's how I've been. As oh, we... oh. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> As here we are, the Redhead Rampage Tournament. What a tournament it's been already. Last week on Call, we had Raven versus Rob, and I believe we had a Red Hate, Red, Redhead Rampage Tournament on PWF last week as well. Yeah, PWF has been wild. Make sure you check it out every Thursday night. Uh, yeah, last week was wild. Uh, this past Thursday was also wild. Hux lost to Devilhon. Uh, wow. And the week before that, Syndrome lost to Mad Hatter. And now we got Animus coming out to face off against Rob. Who knew Devilhon was a uh, ginger? But, uh, I yes. Mean, <laughs> wild. Wild stories going on over at PWF, which is why you need to check it out. Animus making his way down, going up against one of the people of the British wrestling invasion, Rob. One, I almost said one half of the tag team champions, but they lost those titles last week. But it, Yes, they did. You're going to have to help me out, JBH, because I, I have a question about uh, tonight's main event. How Tonight's did main event. Yes. Oh yes, that how, that event. How did the British wrestling invasion get a rematch clause for those tag titles? Well <laughs> they asked a few questions. They're here. Look at them. There's the British wrestling invasion. There they are. European champion Chopper behind them along with uh, Dominus. No Jack the Ripoff anymore. He's been kicked out. Uh, yes, he has. And, you know, I'm hoping that the British Invasion uh, don't win this because, once again, later on tonight, they have a rematch. But the Redhead Rampage Tournament, don't forget, PWF, call. Every week of this month, we have the tournament leading up to Tidal Wave at the end of this month. As, uh, yeah. Rob's about to face Animus. I want Animus to win. I don't know if you knew this. You, you say that, but I, I, I just feel like the British Invasion has been getting special treatment here on Ka lately. Listen, I'm not double booking anyone else. Exactly. That's, that's fair. That is that's special a fair treatment. Point. The uh, <laughs> Robin Perkin will uh, take on Javon and Jordan tonight in a steel cage match for the tag team titles, getting a rematch right after... Uh, Javon and Jordan became three-time champs in a ladder match. Now, I've heard the excuse is because Perkin got beat by Raven earlier that night. It did not help them, but hopefully Rob gets beat by Animus here to not help them tonight. Oh, goodness. It feels like the wings have been feuding. Oh, biting the fingers. Going after it. I was trying to figure out what the audience was chanting there. We'll just say they were chanting Rob sucks as Rob now <laughs> kicks to the back. Yeah, the... Oh, no. It feels like the Wings have been feuding with Rob... Forever? Since, yeah, since the beginning of Shock Wrestling. It oh! feels like... Oh! Rob had to teach Animus how to fly there. And I through all of this... Oh! The Red Mist. There it is. I, I still don't know what that's all about. Oh! It's tomato juice. Oh, I'm sorry. Tomato juice. It's bean juice. Oh! Oh, oh uh. God, that's <laughs> disgusting. That would be, like, brown. <laughs> Look at Animus finally gaining the upper hand against Rob here, twisting the ankle. Oh. That, uh, that can't feel good. Picking no, it up cannot. Rob. And, uh... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, Rob bringing it up, though. Good recovery by Rob once again. Always having to deal with the Wings of Destruction. Wings of DDT. Destruction always having to deal with the British. Oh, here we go. Kite trying to end it here. Knee. Oh, yes! This is vintage Animus. Drag him to the center. There you go. Smart move. What the heck? 
<laughs> not quick enough. Rob rolling out of there, trying to move his way, shimmy his way out. Now the winner of the Ramp Rampage tournament will be crowned Gingerway Champion. Do you do you think one of these competitors could go all the way? Definitely, I think any of them can. Even That's Devilon? why I made the tournament. Well, no, he lost. No, oh yeah, that's true. Even, even Perkin? Shit, he lost. Oh, I lied. Wait, Devil Hunt didn't lose. God oh. damn it. Son of a <laughs> bitch! The getting, kite got getting, animus! Live on Monday Night Call, catch me getting gaslit. Oh, boy. <laughs> I forgot he had to face Hux. What a... Wait. This is a normal match. What is Rob doing? That's not good. What is he... What... Rob? What are you... Doing? Rob's being dangerous, playing around with the chair, threatening the kite. Oh? Teasing the ref. Yeah, what did... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mind games from Rob here. The ref then... throwing the chair outside of the ring as Rob... Oh. Oh. This is... As Rob goes to the oh. middle rope, waiting for the kite... Is Rob just messing with us at this point? Oh, oh! Kick to the face! Jeez, oh! What is happening? This is very uh, cheeky of Rob. <laughs> Going after Animus. Does he want the Ginger White title? Does he think he deserves the Ginger White title? I think Rob thinks he was born to be Ginger White champion. He's got the least ginger hair in this matchup. <laughs> oh! Oh! Totally. He just pushed Animus out of the ring as he climbs up top. Did you see that look he gave Raven after too? What's the, what is the? I thought the Tom way? was about to do something oh. dangerous. Oh, oh, falling onto Perkin. <laughs> I don't know what Perkin that was all about. Perkin got in Rob's way. This is, this is getting weird. Throwing him back into the ring. What's he going to do here? More of a stare down. <laughs> Top rope. Animus just gonna let him do that. Oh, what is what is Rob doing? As oh punch there. Oh! Ah! What is that? An elbow? To the <laughs> back of the neck? Yeah, I think an elbow there. Oh, getting thrown into the corner. Oh, what is Rob doing? Look at that ref nope. staring down, Rob. It, exposing the turnbuckle. The ref didn't uh -huh. like that. Oh, the ref now. Oh, oh no! Running the into ref each other. Hit in the head. Rob swinging oh. and missing at the ref. You, going you, back after Animus now. Do you think Rob was going for the ref there? I maybe. Do you think he changed his mind last minute? He didn't have enough power. It, it could have cost a disqualification. Oh, into the oh. back of that exposed turnbuckle pad. Oh. Oh, oh, just really ramming it into his oh, face God. here. Rob has total dominance over Animus now. Oh, more stomps as, oh, they look on. Oh, Rob now. Throwing Animus over out of the Knocking ring. Out. Oh, the ref's fixing the turnbuckle pad, I think, thankfully. Wait, what's Rob doing? Oh, the ref's distracted. He's not seeing this. Rob's beating him with a kendo stick. Are you serious, Rob? This Rob, is not, this is a tournament, dude. He should know cheaters never prosper. Let's see if he does. One, two. Okay, well, I guess Jeez. cheaters do prosper. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I'm the bully. <laughs> I'm the problem. He wow. cheated. That was a sh he straight up cheated there. Like, look at that. The ref didn't see it, was distracted by the turnbuckle. I, I, As someone wow. who's given Rob multiple chances and opportunities, I feel betrayed with the way he uh, treated me tonight. Yeah, that, that, like it or not, Rob moves on, I guess. How sad. That, that, God. Now I'm in a bad mood. What a way to kick off the night at this Redhead Rampage tournament matchup. Don't forget, every week... Thursday night, PWF, we have a Redhead Rampage tournament matchup. Every week on call throughout the month of August, we have a Redhead Rampage tournament matchup leading up to Tidal Wave at the end of August. But now, 
uh, more important than the main event tonight, old Ben, for some reason, you know, he <laughs> says he's world champion. He thinks he's allowed to make some calls. I don't mind. Wants to face off against Frogman. So, old Ben... There it is. Old Ben picked up a, uh, a big win uh, over the Butcher last week, and the Butcher challenged him to a tag team match because the Butcher essentially was like, hey, you're the world champion, and when you're the world champion, you have no friends. So... Well, that's funny because I cut the Butcher's entrance <laughs> this week. Good. <laughs> As Old Ben comes out now, Old Ben, do you think he has no friends? Who would even side with him? Scary Fox is banned. Oh, wait. Scary Fox quit his school. He probably won't have won him. Yeah, I mean, I understand where Butcher's coming from. It's a lonely world when you're world champion. It, you have a uh, lot more enemies than friends. Sure. Everyone wants that belt. That is the richest prize in all of shock wrestling. I mean, Butcher definitely has some jealousy there. Butcher and Frogman, both triple F OGs. Uh, Jaden, former world champion, a triple FOG as well. So, who, you know, I get it. Why'd you bring up Jaden? Because he's a former world champion and he's a triple F original. Old Ben did defeat Jaden to win that title as well. Is, does Old Ben just hate your triple F show? I mean, I kind of hate my triple F show. <laughs> so, you know, Butcher, Frogman, definitely jealous that, once again... They're all jealous that, you know, Triple F original Jaden is the one who wins the world title first, but at least they're not Andre. That's true. I will always give you that. But let's see if Old Ben has a tag team partner. Oh, I should have known. You should have. These guys go way back. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd pleaser is back. The one time only not making it a pay-per-view appearance. <laughs> yeah, this is only a second match ever on Kaw. Wow. The so far so good television champion. It's Nicholas. Always good to see Nicholas, though. Listen. Taking on... Butcher and the Frog, man. <laughs> Listen, he's not a part-timer by choice. He is very busy doing the So Far So Good show. We are very thankful that uh, Nicholas takes time out of his busy schedule to uh, appear here on Monday Night Call. And Big H over on PWF wreaking havoc. Yes, Big H has been... Uh trying to kill the guard it's quite funny actually i i think it's oh funny. super kick is Into this a it? pin immediately on frogman it's stopped it by up. the butcher oh look at nicholas oh i would have thought that the butcher and frogman would be teams <laughs> they're both green sure i have a question for you uh oh is it easy being green Probably not. <laughs> Look at these punches by old Ben. Oh Nicholas my god. Fighting the butcher outside yeah, of the ring still, as well. Still attacking, but this this is this is I not can even hear close. The fists yeah. Off camera. <laughs> we have to censor it. Ooh. As old Ben beats up the frog. Frogman done nothing this round. Yeah, this is this is oh my god. Oh! The frog is bleeding. Oh, another super kick. <laughs> into a pin on Frogman. Butcher coming back in to save the day once Butcher. again. Spider-Man Nick coming back in <laughs> to beat up the Butcher. <laughs> yeah, last time we saw Nicholas, he defeated uh, Luke at uh, Across the Pond for the television title. Wow, what a long time it's been since we've seen oh. him. Oh, oh my god! He accidentally oh, ben <laughs> knocked out the ref as I assume the camera guy was trying to watch the butcher get beat up by Nicholas. Yeah, accidentally hit the iconic elbow on the ref and Frogman dodged the kick. 
Oh he my God! The ref in the head after that. Could you imagine if he just knocked out the ref? Frogman causing chaos <laughs> against old Ben here. Oh! Oh no! Is this it? Into a pin. It's oh, by Nicholas, Nicholas breaks it up. Wow! Thankfully. I totally did not expect that. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> Butcher got in the way there for a second. Whoa! Okay, what the heck? Look at Frogman Frog gaining the upper up the crowd. hand finally. Oh, it's time to crowd, please. Oh, uh oh. Picking up oh. the frog. Do doing the Frogman's finisher. Oh. Oh no! Right onto his head. Oh, and it's the stopped. Butcher breaks it up. See, that's what Butcher's good at doing: showing up when you least need him and ruining everything. Oh, and here comes the Butcher. Oh, oh, oh. knee into a bro kick. A pin on Nicholas. Oh, no. Oh, kick out. Oh, Nick's hand was under the rope. Stopped Nick getting by the picked pin. up again by the or was Butcher. It, was it, what is it, his head? Controversial call? Oh, oh. God. We have enough of those here on Monday Night Raw and our pay-per-views. <laughs> Oh god, did you see Butcher? Yeah, he's a getting tangled. stuck in the rope. And oh, thrown him into the corner. Here comes old Ben. This uh might be a glorious tag team. Oh. Uh oh, uh, this, another this, super kick. This is probably it, folks. Boom. Oh, oh old Ben went down. The old man is down. Oh. What's he doing? Oh, I thought he was going after the frog. No, he's Into sure a pin on the butcher. Down. One, and oh. Frogman breaks it up. Maybe he should have gone after the frogman. Was too quick on his feet there. Couldn't decide. Frogman jumped up quick enough. He should have expected it. He's a frog. <laughs> Are frogs amphibians or reptiles? They're amphibians. Oh, and the uh -oh. amphibian goes down. Into, Into a, a pin. pin. That might be it. There it is. Knocking out the butcher. Who would have thought? Do you think I this, don't know. Do you think the butcher will finally leave old Ben alone? I don't know why he's going after such top talent. <laughs> I don't. He's the butcher. Once again, maybe that jealousy of Triple F original Jaden being a world champion at one point, losing it to old Ben. Do you think they're jealous of our, our legends? I mean, these are the, our veterans of the locker room. Yeah, I hate these guys. <laughs> Nicholas and old Ben celebrating. Well, good job, guys. I'm proud of you. Um, that wasn't for anything. As uh, we move Can you on. imagine if they both gave up their titles? <laughs> <laughs> Full titles, titles on, on the, the line. line. <laughs> and, uh, what is this? Yeah, I, I heard Rumblings FN is doing an open challenge against somebody we've never seen before on Ka. But, uh, so this I is... I haven't seen FN and Scum alone in a while. Yeah, so last time uh, we saw them was at Across the Pond against uh, Team VGIW. Go check out VGIW, another universe mode. And, um... <laughs> A little miscommunication I'll describe from the Knights, and we haven't heard from Nye since. Hasn't shown up to any call times, um, not, not sure what's, what's going on there. Uh, uh, do you, do you have any update on Nye's, uh, involvement in Monday Night Call? Uh, no. That's, uh... But, <laughs> we did acquire, like, six more people. So well, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. I don't know. If I needed a break. Listen, I have a <laughs> mooch champion over here that takes vacations every few weeks. If Nye needs a break, he can have a little break. It's only been two weeks. Okay. I think. Oh. What the fuck is this? The. The. Who? Who, who is this? Nate Diaz! The. <sighs> uh, I, I, I'm getting word uh, he wants to be called the Aussie Avatar. Alrighty, uh, Avatar the Last Airbender or Avatar the Blue People? Uh, maybe neither. Maybe he's ah. trying to be his own thing. I don't. I don't. Like an Xbox Avatar. 
<laughs> but uh, here he is making his Caw Monday Night Caw debut. Uh, what an opportunity going up against a former world champion in FN. <laughs> uh, well, division <laughs> weight classes uh, don't work here at Shock Wrestling, so um, rest in peace to the Aussie Destroyer after Wait, FN kills him. You're not even giving him a what chance? Heck? Look at this! Let's go! I'm already Sweeping a fan. Sweeping the leg! Ooh. Knee to the face! Oh, oh my god! No. Look at this! What's he doing? Look at the fans on their feet! Oh! Coming out of nowhere, the Aussie oh my God. Avatar into a pin. No, if oh. FN just imagine if that was three. Imagine. Scum doesn't even know how to react. Look at I, I wouldn't know how to react. I don't know how to react in the commentary. But DDT. Unbelievable. FN oh still God. on the ground. Not being able to handle the Aussie Avatar. This is, is he Australian or is he just taking that name? I, is this confirmed? I I I I I I I I believe. I haven't heard him speak. Yeah, I don't. We, we, oh we, no! We, oh god! If he had a knife in his hand, that'd be so much blood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and a DDT. Knocking down the Aussie avatar. Oh, FN. Look at him point at him. Yeah, FN's kind of making fun of him here. I don't know. I think this has been an impressive showing. He oh. stomps to the face. <laughs> that never feels good. And now, oh jeez, oh, the height of him does not work out oh. too well as he was slammed to the side of the ring, getting completely brutalized by FN now. Oh god. And what is this? Is this gonna be a count out? The avatar. The, the ref has said nine. Vanished. He seems to not it, be able to get up. Is this it? And FN celebrating oh. on the top rope? Maybe. So, Nah, he's Batman. He was perking <laughs> on the ledge, ready to uh, take him down if he got up. I, I didn't. Look at him. This is like the Wicked Witch. Look at his legs. Just the the Aussie Avatar was just knocked the hell out too. Look at him down there. Oh, all right. Well, good good job, Knights of the Old Republic. I'm proud of you. Uh. Another, I almost said big win for FN, but uh, what a showing from the Aussie Avatar. Maybe we'll see him again. Here we go. Last week, uh, what the hell? <laughs> Warp, uh, Warp defeated Mooch last week, and uh, you graciously gave him a title match this week. Yeah, it was an uh, insane defeat on Mooch last week. Uh, and he wanted a title shot, so I said, okay. Do you uh do you think we're gonna see a title change tonight? Is is Warp our next M2 J2 champion? I think I'm a simple man and I give the people what they want. Uh, Warp wanted that uh, triple F title and he got it. He lost it in an open challenge. Yeah, a that two was a, dumb a, decision. a two time triple F champion. Yes, of course. <laughs> Never forget that. Uh, Warp's been hanging out with Jaden a lot, though, recently. Former, once again, world champion here. Uh, yeah. Technically, Warp's also a former world champion, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. They, uh, yeah, they've kind of started an alliance uh, lately, and maybe we'll see them go through the tag division. <laughs> Good luck, because the British Invasion and Click seem to be uh, hogging the ball over there with their fucking rematches, their... <laughs> non rematches, but matches. I hate those. Here, Mooch! Did you hear that pop from Mooch? <coughs> Excuse me. There he um. is. <laughs> Did you hear him? <laughs> Mooch is here. Yeah, I think he was just as shocked as we were that he lost to Warp last week. Yeah, this uh, this might be a meaner mooch tonight. Arr! Arr! Ooch. Is is mooch your pick tonight? Ooch. Yeah, uh, I believe I said it months ago. Title looks good on him. Your favorite member of the clique? My favorite member of the clique. Hope he never loses it. But if he loses it tonight, I think Warp's a deserving champion because. Uh, once again, two-time Triple F champion. 
hasn't been able to go after much championships here in Shock Wrestling because, you know, we, we started with like three and now we have like 14, which is why we're going to have Tidal Wave at the end of this month, August 27th. Sunday, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be huge. Be there for Tidal Wave. And you know Mooch definitely wants to walk into Tidal Wave with that M2J2 title. But if he doesn't, it'll be Warp. Or, yeah. you know, if I have any other matchups after, I guess I'd have to book it depending on the winner. So I guess we'll see. I want Mooch to win. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, I hear you. I hear you. As, uh, here we go. Title on the line. And what are uh, Mooch fans called? Moochin? <laughs> <laughs> the little mooches? Uh, the uh, Mooch Snacks? <laughs> <laughs> moochie Moochie! Oh! oh, Papa Powerbomb! Oh, no. New, new champion? Immediately! No. <laughs> Hold on. The click still doesn't walk out with Mooch, and I think it's very disrespectful. Well, um, every click member is actually in action tonight. Wow. Uh, Mikhail and Slime Theory in a tag match later, and of course our main event, Javon and Jordan versus Robin Perkin. Tag team titles on the line inside of a steel cage. It's going to be insane oh. as Warp overpowers Mooch, the M2J2 champion. And what's interesting about that Mikhail and Slime Theory match, uh, you had the interesting idea of trying to, oh, reconnect Luke and uh, the Hammer and it, by putting them in a tag team tonight. First off, first off, shut up. Uh, reconnect? No, I'm oh. forcing them to oh. work together, sir. <laughs> Do you not see my bloodline falling apart, Ace? Oh, reconnect, trying to make it sound like I'm being nice. No more Mr. Nice Guy! Forgot to mention, this is a False Count Anywhere match, a Mooch Special. Oh. Oh. A Mooch Special? Oh. That sounds like my kind of milkshake. <laughs> and, oh, DDT from Warp. As, Look at uh, this athleticism by these two competitors. Yeah, I would say uh, Mooch's career-making match was back at Mayhem when uh, he faced Jaden in a False Count Anywhere match. He lost that match, but I, I'd say a star... Where's Warp going? I have no idea. It, is Warp afraid of Mooch? Warp is leaving the ring as Mooch is stalking him like the Predator. Oh. Going after Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, are they, they going to fight on the concrete like this? Oh, God. Oh, I thought they were going to kiss. Uh oh. Oh! 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 Oh my Flip it God. over. Oh, and again. Oh no. Mooch. Oh! Mooch overpowering warp outside on the concrete. Oh, look at these right jabs. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. Oh! Warp has no defense here. Yeah, and this was all Warp's idea to do this. Oh! And Warp has had some bad ideas in the past. Uh, <laughs> shipwreck match being an example. <laughs> and now Warp looking really woozy here. DDT. This is uh -oh. kind of insane. Another one. Oh! oh, more hits. When, when, when are you the ref and maybe call off this match? Look at the ref. Oh, God, sleeper on the outside. Going in for the submission. This could be it. Will Warp tap? Is Warp going to tap? He does. He does. Warp taps outside of the ring, almost outside. They left. Wow. Mooch beats Warp. Mooch shit-talking him. The disrespect there. Yeah, uh, what, this was a brutal Mooch. Wow. Well, he did retain like I wanted him to. Yeah, it it happened, but what a what a beatdown. Yes, it was a beatdown, that is for sure. Next week we have a very special matchup though. Chopper versus Mooch. Oh. But anyway, 
Where is the scary fox? People always ask. <laughs> and I say, shut up. I don't care. <laughs> oh, my Lord. God. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel like I need to be, like, talking lower because it's golf. Oh, the commentary is yes, very, exactly very low. Right, Ace. So, so as we can see, today. Nikki Fox Nikki now. Fox. Oh, that was pretty yes. good. I guess Nikki Fox has tried to create a new career. Uh, since if you missed it last week, he failed at his baseball career, but now he's taking on golf. And as you can see, Ace, not the best of weather conditions tonight. No, and uh, he could have uh, postponed this, but uh, I don't think uh, uh, Nikki Fox realizes you can do that in golf. Oh, but look at this. Oh, oh geez, never that mind. Was cool. <laughs> Firing it across the green like Hercules. Oh, that was... Now, uh, the people have uh, been asking quite a few questions. I figured now would be a good time to answer them. One, where is the scary fox? Well, uh, he's right here. Uh, <laughs> two, will the scary fox ever be returning to shock wrestling? Well, I thought I'd let people know. I'm no longer mad at him for being a shitty tag team partner. But that doesn't mean he'll ever return. He huh. sucked at wrestling. Why would he show back up? Look, I, I, I mean, he, 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 he defeated the Adam and Mayhem. Okay, so uh, question number three is, uh, will Scary Fox ever make short films again? No idea. Uh, also, uh, don't know the answer to that question. He's uh, been working hard on a feature film. Working Ace. hard? Well... Oh, hardly working. That was, that, oh, was a, uh, that was a good one there. Plus three to kick it off here at uh, Clickbait Country Club. <laughs> Thank you, 2K23. Wow. I, uh, wow. I actually really am a big fan of that one. <laughs> Can you imagine? I didn't even know Wait. 2K was still making golf games. Oh. Well, so was... did you know that... Oh, uh, Sam Trap? Oh, uh, no. No, not yet. I mean... <laughs> No, not yet. So, Nikki Fox uh, sucks. I don't know what I was going to say, and I distracted myself. Oh. This this portion is definitely getting edited more than the baseball one is. <laughs> I will be right back, though, because I'm going to go and grab a water because I'm an idiot, and I know this lasts an extra two minutes for no reason. Oh. Well, while we're while we're all here, uh, let me let me let me review the last movie I saw. I saw the Meg Two, um, starring Jason Statham. The uh, what are your thoughts on what happened? Spoilers for Indiana Jones. And the Dial of Destiny. Oh my god, we still haven't been able to talk about it! Spoilers! I was right! I knew it was about time travel! I told everybody! I, I was right! The Dial caused time travel! In my humble opinion, though, I thought the way they did the time travel was very in-universe. All that fucking matters, Ace, is I was right. It's true. I, I kept saying it's going to be about time travel. And it was. Will you... I mean, uh, they already did Aliens. What's the next step? Will you? I don't want to go to the moon. <laughs> okay, Harrison. Will you watch Dial of Destiny when it inevitably shows up on the Disney Plus? Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another Herculean shot there. <laughs> um... Dial of Destiny, Nikki Fox, I will not be watching as he finishes with the 16 overall here, but I'm sure we'll and, get uh, updates on that later. Well, I just got an update. He did not make P the PGA Tour. Ah, damn. Uh, sorry, Nikki. So next week, he might be hitting the track, and we'll see. Mikhail and Slime Theory are coming out now to face off against Luke and the Hammer. And if you missed it earlier... Ace did point out that I am trying to force the bloodline to work together here. So I am making Luke and the hammer 
work together against the new slimes. What's their tag team name? Do they have one? I, I the think, new age out slimes. Yeah, I think they're also just the click. Very, very confused. Hmm. But, uh, so, Ace, you know in Raw 99 when DJ Generation X breaks up and you have no idea who's... <laughs> everybody's still wearing all D Generation X gear. It's very confusing. You have no yeah. idea who's friends. Yeah. But, you know, over here, we got uh, two separate champions uh, in the clique. We got the tag team of Jordan and Javon, and we got Mooch, the M2J2 champion. What are these two trying to do? Mikhail keeps warning Javon and Jordan that the tag titles need to stay in the click. I don't know why he's so obsessed with that. Why is he wearing a mask? Yeah, we still don't know why Mikhail's wearing a mask. As, it's like a uh, clown with that horn sticking out. And so, do you think Luke and Hammer could see eye to eye tonight? Let's let's recap for a second. So. They were all part of the faction, uh, the Hammer Line, back in uh, early <laughs> spring. And uh, they did good for a while. They won titles at Mayhem. Uh, the Hammer won the world title at Fight Night. But uh, Hammer and Luke started to not see eye to eye how they both viewed uh, Shock Wrestling. And it, it erupted with Luke attacking the Hammer, which gave Jaden an advantage to cash in his um, uh, uh, Here Comes the Pain Challenge to win the world title. And now, after the Hammer attacked Luke last week, after not seeing the Hammer for multiple weeks, they're an attack team, forced by you. Yeah. This is different for the Hammer. Yeah, this is... Is, is Indiana Jones walking out? Oh. Oh, Odin's son has arrived with his Jordans! Oh, shit. That's a... That's an actual hammer. The new hammer. Maybe people don't take the hammer seriously. And I think he's uh, he's getting sick of that. Oh. Look at this Mick Foley looking ass walking out. <laughs> you know this is sped up to like 130%. <laughs> we would have been sitting here for like 15 minutes watching his slow ass walk. Oh my! Do you see how slow the title card is? <laughs> What's your uh, what's your opinion on this new hammer? Listen, of all our former world champions, I only dislike one of them. <laughs> um, Adam. We just spent a while watching him golf, <laughs> and that was, like you said, like watching him edit. Oh, jeez, jeez, <laughs> Louise. I put in my tier list of Knicks, even though I was shooting on Warman, I'm still not done with you! I'm gonna get that title! Um, <laughs> I'd put Nicholas the Crowd Pleaser, number one. I'd put the Hammer, number two. And Scary Fox isn't allowed on the list. The four pillars, folks. Uh, he does need to figure out his shit with his brother here, though. That would be nice. As Luke's starting off against Mikhail. Oh! I don't know if Mikhail and Luke have ever faced off. Oh! Has Mikhail faced any of the hammer line? I don't think so. Yeah, Mikhail's kind of useless. He complains about part-timers like Nicholas, but look at this guy with his goofy little mask. <laughs> barely showing up in his, his mint chocolate chip pants. What are you doing, Mikhail? <laughs> get up, Mikhail! <laughs> <laughs> and Mikhail trying to get back into this match with a right hand there. Oh, another one. And Luke really showing off with some of his skill here. Really wrapping Mikhail around and throwing him around yeah. the ring. Oh, look at this. Oh! There we go. You know, Luke may not be the biggest superstar we have, but I think his strength might be top five. I really like his boots, though. Oh, are we already seeing oh. Mikhail's leg drop? Mikhail into a pin immediately onto Luke. Oh, there you Luke go. Kicks Good out, kick though. out. Uh, notice no tag team help by the hammer. Ah, oh, jeez, Mikhail. As, oh, here we go. First time seeing the hammer in a oh, while. Oh, God! Oh, jeez. Yes! <laughs> that's, yes! That's what we want to see. You want to know who's on my Mikhail tier list? Oh, boy. Mooch is number one. That's good. That's it. 
That's my Mikhail too. Oh! Mikhail falls. The oh! Hammer beating up Slime Theory. Oh! oh! The Hammer does not give a shit as Mikhail. Taking on the Jolly Green Giant as Oscar the Grouch <laughs> is going after the Hammer now. <laughs> oh my god, off the ropes! Off. Look at that! Oh, Ooh. stomp onto the Hammer's hand. Another kick. Can't drum Ooh. if you can't use your hands. That's true. He can't drum anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going for the leg. Oh! Ah! And... Telling him to get up oh. as he's still just... Once again, Luke also not helping out his tag team partner kind of outside of the ring here. That's true. But Slime Theory just standing there, but I guess Mikhail doesn't need yeah, this Mikhail's help right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's got this. I'm just finding it interesting that... Oh, oh geez. <laughs> Somehow the hammer hurt himself. As, oh, here now we go. he's bringing in the big guns. Here it is. The powerhouse of the click. Oh, God. Into the back of oh, Luke. Spike. That can't feel Into good. Into a pin. One, two. A oh. kick out by Luke. He cannot believe it. Oh, going after the hammer now. Once payback for Hammer beating him up against the ropes earlier. Oh! Right to the back. Oh, and now... Luke going after Mikhail, though. Look at this. Are they both just trying to make it a one-on-one -on -one match here? I like that they're beating each other up outside of the ring. And here it's we go. My e even uh -oh. fight. Oh! Knocking Luke down... Is what's, it a, what's Slime Theory doing? Absorbing the energy of the crowd? <laughs> Smelling the electricity. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Got a little bounce against Mikhail there. And Mikhail didn't want any of that. Oh, as... Oh, now Mikhail going after the hammer. The hammer doesn't know what to do as Mikhail throws him against the wall. And Mikhail still... At, oh, look at though. Look at Luke. Might be trying Luke. to make Slime Theory tap. He has the submission. He's trying to break his arm as Slime Theory gets out of it and throws oh. Luke down. Mikhail just continually beating up the hammer outside of the ring. Yeah, this is kind of wild. And Slime Definitely Theory with a pin. Focusing on the inside. Is this it? They got it. Wow. Slime Theory gets the pin on Luke. It had to get rid of the other members around the ring there in order to get anything to work. Yeah, as it didn't, did not think uh, it was going to go that route, to be honest. I thought the Hammer and Luke were going to be able to coexist a little bit more. Kind Trying of, to avoid each other as much as possible, it seems. Yeah, yeah. Did not look good. Look at the stupid mask. I can't get over this. It looks like an idiot. You know? <laughs> but there, there they are. Uh, another another victory for Mikhail and Slime Theory. I, I I wonder I wonder what their intentions are. Dire dire intentions. Oh, and Luke Luke's hurt. Oh, oh God! The hammer. hammer's losing his mind. And Luke's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and now he's walking Sick out. Of this. And Luke's trying oh, to get God. out of here. Oh. Oh, jeez, against the. Ring hammer, come on. Slime Theory and Mikhail had to get out of there as the hammer is oh. full hoka and everyone. Oh this is, boy. This is your family, JVH. I don't give a shit. Speaking, Adam versus Hugh! Speaking of your family, I think this is uh Hugh's first opportunity in a one-on-one -on -one match, possibly ever. I know it'd be the first one in months. But Adam's here. It's definitely the first one in once as Adam arrives. Now Adam uh, laid out the challenge. Did you hear the big news for Tidal Wave? What's he laying out challenges for Mr. Former World Champion? Because of his big victory against Aaron Storm, BGIW star at Across the Pond, he has challenged whoever the BGIW champion is for Tidal Wave. He will face, and that title will be defended. Huge news, JBH. Wild. Can't believe this is happening. A real forbidden door matchup. Oh, 
why Adam's not going for any of my 14 titles. <laughs> You know, he's, he's trying to bring a title to your show. You should be proud. Yeah, you can try. <laughs> Former world champion, everyone. But Former tag team champion, everyone. Oh, and this is, this is a new look for you. Hugh is uh, ready to roll. Oh, he's got the dragon on the back. Yeah, I, I, I spoke to Hugh, and... Uh, he says the Luke and Hammer stuff, it, it's not good, but he's going to distance himself from that and focus on his singles career. And That's not his problem. He doesn't want to deal with it. He challenged, uh, he challenged Adam to this match. He wanted his singles career to, to start with a boom. Well, that is a boom. Former world champion, once again, that only works with Adam. Uh, like if I said it with Jaden, people would be like, why is he facing Jaden? Anyway... <laughs> Uh, yeah, good match to kick it off uh, his new singles career in. Yeah, to tie up there. I mean, he's a former tag team champion. Won the tag team titles at Mayhem with his uh, brother Luke. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. Whatever the hell that was into a pin. And a kick out from Adam. Impressive. And now second rope. Oh, elbow. Yeah, both of these guys need to go after some titles sometime soon. Adam, too busy making oh. cookies, losing world championships. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> beating everybody up in different promotions. Oh. Now throwing Adam Hugh. out of there. Yeah, here we go. Upper hand Hugh over. Oh, oh back Adam off up. against Adam. Drop kick. That's the way to do it. And now Adam. Oh, God, look at this. Spinning oh God, him. Making me dizzy. I'm gonna vomit. Oh jeez. Adam really spinning him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Still spinning him. Oh boy. This is like a <laughs> little uh cup teacup. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Adam's dizzy. Oh, look at Hugh though. Good recovery oh. from Hugh onto Adam there. Does, Super quick. Does not get dizzy as uh, as much as Adam, it seems. Pump, trying to pump up the crowd. What a different Hugh we have tonight. Throwing Adam back into the ring as Hugh picks up Adam, giving him some kicks to the ribs. Oh. Now, uh, Hugh is MMA trained, I believe, right? A little bit. Nice. nice. Oh. Not as much as Luke. Oh, Adam's saying no. Oh, nice block uh -oh. there. Uh-oh. This is the Adam we know. Oh, trying to grab oh. Adam as Adam's oh. escaping his clutches. Look at these right hands. Throwing Adam outside the ring. Yeah, this is getting insane. Oh. Telling the crowd to get up. Get ready. This would be a huge upset here on Kaw. Picking Adam back up again. Do you, uh -oh. do you think Sneaking Adam back into the ring. Do you think Adam might have thought this was an easy win? Nah, Adam never thinks it's an easy win. He's <laughs> a humble guy, you know. That's good. That's good. Oh! Targeting the knee. Oh, missing! Ah, a miss! Oh, I think he tried Took to go for the running again. knee there. Oh, got him up though. Look at this. Burning hammer! Love that Slam move. Slam down. Trying to pump up the audience. Oh, missing! Pump oh, recovery kick. by Adam. What a match! Oh, now Adam trying to pump up the. Yeah. Who do you think they are? The crowd pleaser? <laughs> oh! Now Nicholas has been watching everybody, looking for the most crowd pleasing person to be in the television tidal wave matchup. Stomps onto Hughes' chest here. Oh, big knee. <coughs> Oh boy, top rope. Climbing up top. <coughs> Elbow. And both, uh -oh. both are out of the ring. Adam now. Gonna throw Hugh back in the ring. Oh, Adam getting uh -huh. pumped up. Oh, Thrown into Hugh, the though. ropes, though. Oh, running into each other. Hugh, though. Right back at him. Oh my god. I think yeah. Adam. Adam a little dazed. 
<laughs> oh. Not able to handle it from Hugh. This beating that he's getting. Yeah, this is kind of insane. Oh. Oh, slamming Hugh down on Cover. his face into another pin. Oh. Only a one. I don't, Just I don't. keeps kicking him. Adam doesn't know what to do. How do you put this? How do you put this guy down? Kicking him in the chest. Oh, look, look at this! This. Oh. this is like watching a really good volley in volleyball. Back and <laughs> forth, back and forth. Two athletically gifted competitors here. Oh, into a pin. Rolled over. Rope break. Rope break though. Oh, Adam might be going for it. Who would have thought that Adam... The running ah! knee. The move that defeated Aaron Storm. Finally recovered there. Got there it. Go. Adam with the pin on Hugh. Will that running knee make him become BGIW champion? Imagine. I hope he doesn't hurt his knee. No. <laughs> You're just worried about his injuries. He's a, I mean, this guy, he's injury prone. That's fair. For That's true. There it is. World champion. You're winner. Adam. Oh, do you know it's what time, time it is? for the subscribe oh. slam of the week. Brought to you by Snickers. Snickers? So last week on Monday Night Call, Jordan, during the click versus uh, invasion matchup, Decided to throw Perkin out of the ring. Look at this, Ace. Yeah, this was beautiful move by Jordan. And then Jordan proceeds to rally everyone around the ring oh. and just slam Perkin down again. Get rid of Rob, all while Javon's going for the the, the titles. Yeah, this was Look at that. dominance from the click. Clearing out the ring for the click to become the new, once again, Tag Team Champions Three on times. Monday Night Call. Three-time Tag Team Champions, history-making moment. This has been the Subscribe Slam of the Week. Brought to you by Snickers. <laughs> so, tonight, we will be having the Click vs. Invasion again, as we brought up earlier. It's gonna be a big matchup but first, we have a Tidal Wave qualifier matchup. Uh, two former champions uh, in one way or another. <laughs> yeah, Jaden uh, going up against Andre. The winner will be in Old, ba in Old Ben's World Championship. Look at Warp just standing there. Oh, God. So, backstory. What is this? So backstory, Jaden uh, got that weapon. Uh, so backstory, uh, Jaden okay. <laughs> uh, was trained by Rob, and uh, when Jaden completed his training with Rob, Rob gave him that as a gift. I see. Do you think he's a fan of the British invasion? I think he sees Rob as a, uh, you know, as a as a teacher. Maybe a father figure. But <laughs> I don't know how he feels about the entire faction. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the entire faction. Walking out with Warp as they were both buddies with the artist formerly known as Scary Fox. Oh, J you got JVH, you, you got rid of his tank. Yes, it was time. <laughs> he didn't deserve it. Well, you see... On Triple F, I had to deal with the Star Wars wrestling strike. And then people are talking about not having enough TV time on Monday Night Call. And I'm like, well, certain people's entrances are going to have to shore in. And Old Ben and Andre looked at each other and looked at me. And I was like, I'm not saying anyone in particular. But if you noticed, Old Ben lost his crane as well. Mm -hmm. We gotta shorten things up here. Lots of storylines every Monday night on call. And don't forget PWF every Thursday night. Andre, former Triple F champion, taking on Jaden. Now, uh, he's edited and worked on films that has starred Jaden, our former world champion before. I don't know who's gonna win tonight. I, I think I enjoy both of these competitors at the least.
Yeah, they would they would become part of the world title title wave matchup. So, a title wave match for those of you who don't know, actually none of you would know because I haven't explained it yet. It will ah. be a <laughs> it will be a five person. Oh, Jaden oh, throws Jesus. Andre over to the ring. We're trying to explain <laughs> something. It is. It will be a five person elimination match. The last wrestler standing will be crowned world champion or if you're a nicholas's television title matchup will become television champion we'll have two title wave matches uh, on the show oh wild it's going to be insane intense how what are we gonna do it ace i don't oh my god did he just flick him off we didn't even censor it into a, a pin wow this is ridiculous I haven't seen that since Adam flicked someone off in, like, the first episode. Yeah, Adam flipped off old Ben and, uh... Is that what it was? Yeah, the <laughs> very first call of the year. Ooh. Andre is mad. Now, I don't know if you also know, Ace. Four pillars oh. over here. Jaden is technically one of our four pillars since starting Monday Night Call this year. Andre is very upset that he is not a fourth pillar. Yeah, we, uh, we kind of decided just amongst the community that the four pillars of Shock Wrestling are our first four world champions. And, uh, Andre, I'm sorry, you were you were not one of them. So you, you... He's like, I deserve... I was the Triple F guy! Definitely... Okay, Andre. Definitely a pillar of Triple F, of course. Definitely jealous of the Butcher and Frogman's TV time. And once again, <laughs> the Triple F uh, alumni, Jaden, being a former world oh. champion here at Shock Wrestling. As he gets the pin on Andre. Andre could prove everybody wrong, though, if he gets this Tidal Wave matchup opportunity. Yeah, and we know Andre has a pass with Old Ben as well recently. Oh, yeah, recently he was beating him up for no reason. Oh, uh oh, uh, here it, it is. is time. The worm. Choo choo. <laughs> oh, Jaden's heavy machinery connects. And a, a kick, kick out, out though. by Andre, though. He wants to get a shot at that world championship here at Shock Wrestling. He doesn't think Jaden needs another shot at He already won it. What do you want from me? <laughs> well, Nothing, Andre. This is Jaden's only way to get his revenge on old Ben. Oh, camel clutch locked in. That's the way to do it. Andre didn't have the opportunity to hit his sleeper, but the camel clutch coming in first. Does that give Jaden an advantage over Andre's weak little back? Oh, oh he recovers. Yeah, we haven't seen Andre's uh, sleeper hold yet. Oh, knee. Oh, oh choking, choking him in the corner. Oh, my God. The ref's like, you get, stop doing that. That's not allowed. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Into a pin on Jaden. This could be One, it. One, two. Kick Ooh, out. Nice. There you go. Jaden rolling out of it. His arm's glitching a little bit there. Oh, Coat. back in the ring. What? Oh. What are you saying? Oh, God. Jeez. That can't feel good. Look at Andre being a big show off over there. Oh, and now Jaden. Oh. Now, Andre still says he considers calm Monday Night Roberts. People watch these videos because of him. I mean. To some extent, Monday Night Roberts is true because he's here every freaking Monday. Oh, look at Jaden. This is showing of strength, dropping Andre down. And what's he got planned here? Outside of the ring. Oh. Kick to the face. Andre squirming around like a worm. Oh, elbow. And oh, oh, missing it. Oh. oh. Knee to the back of the leg. Now, that leg of Jaden's doesn't tend to fare well after yeah. uh, doing big moves. Seems to, oh! uh, his knee seems to give out or, or something. Oh, God, look at oh this. Oh, my Going God. <laughs> Speaking of knees. He does not want Andre to work. Again. Going for it again. Andre's like, Jaden, please. I've never seen Otis do this in my life. <laughs> Oh, ankle lock. It's locked in. Is Andre going to tap? Warp cheered him on. 
Warp, uh, of course, did not pick up a victory earlier, but uh, cheering on his friend. Going for it. Andre refusing to give up. Is this it? No, he gets out Good of it. Good recovery. Warp's oh, even shot. again. Some oh, my God. Smacks to the face. I, I can't believe it. Andre overpowering Jaden. Look oh, at him. He looks like a monster. The, the sleeper. sleeper. Locked in. This could be it, folks. Can Jaden get out of it? Oh, it's really not looking good. Jaden. Look at him squirming can, can, around. Can he, can he get out of this, Jaden? Oh, my God. Like a bunch of psychopaths. Oh, I thought, I thought the ref was calling for the bell. No, he was saying nobody tapped. That was insane. As now Andrew's in the corner. Um, oh, this could be it. Dude, he just dropped him. Here it he didn't is. Even pick him all the way up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Picking oh. Andre up why, once why, again. Why didn't he go for the pin there? Oh no. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Yo, Andre, the speed. Ah, oh, scratches oh. down his back. I don't even know if that's allowed. Oh, jeez. What's he doing? Uh-oh. He's oh, going for it. Oh, no way. Jaden should have ended the matchup. Oh. Shattered dreams. He is gone. No more dreams for Jaden. Into the sleeper. No, this could be it. No, Jaden gets Jayden out of it. Jaden recovers from the sleeper. Fights out of it. Fight forever. Suplex. Ah! We know oh, an Andre. We stomps. Know. Knee to the face. So much for Andre Knight Roberts or whatever the hell it's called. Ah! To the back. <laughs> As Jaden gets him up. Recovery room Roberts. In the corner. Uh oh. oh Dropping boy. him down once again. This might be it now. Now he wants to finish oh. Andre off. This has got to be it. There it he is. He gets it. Jaden is going to Tidal Wave. August 27th, Sunday, on the Shockwave Sports Channel. Will Jaden get his revenge on old Ben and get that world title back? I mean, once again, it's a Tidal Wave matchup. Anybody has a shot at this world title. Yeah. Wave. Match up. <laughs> Good job, Jaden. I'm sure Andre's not going to be happy and he's going to complain to me for the next three hours after the show. That's a, that's another L for Andre. Yeah, you're going to have to... I'm sure he's going to call you. 3 a.m. talks with Andre. Moving on! All right. Clone 99's mad at me. I don't know if anybody knew this. I knew this. You didn't think? Clone... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, I decided that we need to have a uh, women's title matchup. We haven't had one in at least a minute. And I figured let's bring up some of the women who haven't been around recently, like Blackheart and Mac Daddy, to face off against Clone 99 and Killa in, um, you know, all the, the Fatal 4-Way matchup for the Women's World Championship here on Monday Night Car. It has really been a night of uh, many uh, surprises, a lot of lot of stuff happening. Is this going to be another big upset, JBH, do you think? I have no idea. Mac Daddy has returned from the monastery. <laughs> Not the Devil Han monastery, different one. Uh, she's been busy training after that harsh loss against Killa back at... Uh, uh, mayhem, actually. Then Akilla lost against Ruby Bourne over at Across the Pond, one of the VGIW uh, competitors. And now, Clone 99's going after Killa. Rosemary's Baby teaming up with Clone 99 to go after Killa since she has no friends anymore since her and Mac Daddy broke up. It's wild. Wild stuff happening over here. Clone 99 wants me to thank her for being a big part of the women's division from Star Wars wrestling days. I don't care. That is not my canon. So, oh, uh, yeah, I said it. 
<laughs> the, uh, yeah, you seem to have a lot of beef with Chloe 99. If you're gonna cause me problems, I'm gonna problem cause. The, uh... I'm giving her a title shot tonight. <laughs> she didn't have a title shot against the women's world title here at Shock Wrestling before, and now she does. But she has to face off against Mac Daddy, Blackheart, and Kill. That's true. That's very true. The, 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 you, I think you've been generous. Do you, do you think uh, some of the uh, some of the old guards of uh, of the wrestling promotion of its past is a little too harsh on you? See, here's the problem. Clone Ninety Nine is a very rare uh, competitor here, where she's you know OG over at Shock Wrestling, you know. She didn't want to be in the Blockbuster division. She wanted me to fix my women's division, so I'm trying. I'm doing my best, Ace. Oh, look, my world champion, Killa. At least someone doesn't disappoint me. Am I projecting, Ace? Do you think, uh, do you think Killa has a <laughs> Do you think Killa has a chance here to retain? Like, this is, this is a tough matchup. No offense to Blackheart, but I'm more worried of Mac Daddy and Clone99's tactics that they'll be able to use against Killa. Will they be able to team up at all? Are they going to try to take down the women's world champion? I don't know, Ace. They, uh, you know, women's locker room doesn't get along here most of the time. The, uh, I haven't seen most of them most of the time, actually. So. Do they get mad at you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. I mean, so does Andre. It's Andre, Killa, Mac, Clone 99. Always with the phone calls. And my like, guys. And that's what it's all about. I'm trying my best. Women's World Championship on the line in this fatal four way. Top competitors that we've seen here on call throughout this year. And Clone 99, the veteran going after the belt, going oh, after spear. Blackheart as Killa spears Mac Daddy, former Bloodline member, former cousin, into a pin by Darth... Oh, oh it's elimination match. And Blackheart's <laughs> um, just out like that? Just like that, Blackheart is gone from the matchup. Oh, See, another pin. I'm trying to give everybody opportunity. Oh my god. I don't god. know why Clone 99 waited there. Probably to just take on Killa herself. Mac that, Daddy was I, speared. I, I, I can't believe Mac Daddy, our first ever world champion, women's world champion's already gone. Poor to go. As submission. Oh no! <laughs> What's she gonna do? She Gets flips out her it. out of it. Oh, spear! spear. Revenge from what she did to Mac Daddy earlier on in the matchup. Clone 99 and Killa just getting, or Clone 99 got rid of both Blackheart. Oh, never mind. She waited for Mac Daddy to get a pinned by Killa there. She wants Killa all to herself. This was the only way to do it. Get rid of the other two from the face. Look, another spear. Insane. The Whoever wins these final two will be the women's world champion. Could we have a title change? Could uh -oh. Clone 99 make history? This is under extreme hockey rules. Hockey stick. Oh. H-E double hockey stick. Shades of your family. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Good recovery by Killa. Swing and a miss. Oh, and a tie up there. Oh, she misses the spear, though. Damn. Damn. Oh, look at this. Getting her pinned up into the corner. Another hit. Another Killa hit. Killa overpowering the veteran here. What's Killa going to do? Oh. Uh, gets out of the is ring. Is she going to look for an object? I don't know. Oh, she goes oh, back, back into in the, the ring. ring now. Oh, oh goes for the hockey, the hockey stick. stick. Oh. Ah. Oh. Another oh. recovery by Clone 99. Beating Killa in the corner. Oh, this swing and a miss. And now, Another recovery back and forth between these two. This is insane. This is what Clone 99 wanted. She wanted to have Killa all to herself in the ring as Killa lines up here. Spear. 
And another Bahati stick. Oh, a big hit. Another hit. Oh, missing. Killa believes she deserves the Women's World Championship, and Clone 99 has given her no respect. Oh, hits to the arm. Oh. Pushing up against her face. Oh, kicking her down the turnbuckles. Oh, right to the back. It is all Clone 99 right now. Oh, jeez. Picking Killa up, slamming her it? down. Uh oh. To crown What's a new champion? Here? Killa kicks oh. out. Oh. Did that Clone happen? 99 said no. The dominance of Clone 99 right Did now. Did you just hear that scream in the, the corner? The, the, they're afraid. <laughs> I'd be afraid of Clone 99 as well. She doesn't know what she's doing here up against Killa. Oh. Trying to figure out what it's going to take to put Killa down. She refuses oh. to lose, slamming Clone 99 down. Oh, oh stop there. Into, into a, a pin. pin. One, oh. two, three. Killer retains. Wow. See, they need to start showing her a little bit of respect. She earned that title fair and square. I couldn't believe they this They got beginning. rid of Mac Daddy and Blackheart. That was insane. Clone 99 wanted to go after Killa immediately. You have to get rid of all other folks in the ring in order to do something like that. But she still manages to lose to Killa, who retains her world championship. Wow. Wow. Those were some terrible replays to get. Still the women's world champion from Killa. Uh, how do you feel? A, a successful win for uh, one of your family members. Once again, that's a Bloodline member. That doesn't disappoint me. <laughs> yeah, Luke and Hammer uh, earlier did not pick up the victory, but it's all about Killa right now, rightfully so. Congrats to Killa on retaining the title. And now it's time for our final matchup of the night. Click versus Invasion, the rematch. In a steel cage! This is gonna get brutal, folks. For the tag team titles. Ah. Why am I here? <laughs> Who's your pick tonight? Well, let's see. If we could take a step back a few weeks, the British Invasion have been holding on to those titles for quite a while. And then the click come in last week and obliterate them after some shenanigans pooled at across the pond where there was a possibility that uh, the click may have won it but we decided to have them retain due to some big controversial moments at across the pond then they lost it last week to the click so I don't know what I don't know, yeah everything's kind of gone downhill from there for this uh, little British invasion but the click have seemed to be on the up and up. And by the click, I mean specifically Javon and Jordan. I have faith in them. They seem to have gotten their stuff back together now. Uh, and they might retain tonight. Oh, boy. That would be interesting for sure if the click could get out of this. Because I'm a little scared of the British invasion. I know they lost last week, but beyond that... Ever since fight night, it's been dominance from this faction. Here's my thing, Ace. Who would have thought the team that could take down the British Invasion would be the Click? Maybe that's on me. But <laughs> I believe they can hold off against the British Invasion. And if they can do that tonight, maybe they're proving something to me. Jordan yeah. and Javon, hold on to it. Now, Mikhail's been freaking out about uh, them holding on to these titles, which, bro, this guy hasn't even held on to a title for, what, ever? Like, shut up. <laughs> but there they are. The click is here. Three-time, three-time, three-time Shock Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Here they come. The click. Ready to go. Up against the British Invasion in this rematch. Uh... Let's go click. Yeah. Oh, that's your pick? Yeah. The, uh, 
definitely not trying to take over your company, unlike the uh, the other faction. Yeah, it's nice. And you're you're a big fan of Javon. Jordan and Javon have uh, not caused as much chaos as some members of their group. <laughs> some member of their group. <laughs> Did we and mention it's in a steel cage? <laughs> yes, steel cage matchup for those tag titles right there. Very exciting. I, this is going to be tough. I think we are looking at the two best tag teams on Monday Night Call. Possibly. Uh, all the other ones broke up, except for the Wings of Destruction. Your favorite uh, team. And the guards on a separate show. Paz has been MIA. Yeah, I believe we'll see Paz in action uh, next week. Yes, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Paz and the guard will be facing off against some characters in PWF next week. Oh, boy. That's exciting. I knew Paz was around. Listen, the guard's been getting chased down by tri uh, Big H. Triple H. <laughs> uh, Big H has been chasing the guard down. I'm trying to handle two shows at once here, Ace. You, you know how it is. Chaos. Here yeah, I won't click go. to retain. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be interesting. So, in order to win, both tag team members need to escape the cage. Not one, both. Oh, both. Oh, look at this. Immediate dominance by Jordan, Javon and Perkin. Sorry, Jordan. Not doing too well over there, buddy. Oh, throwing Perkin down. Oh, there you go. Now, now Jordan's getting the upper hand on Rob. Yeah, the uh, they switched. Oh, <laughs> Jordan already trying to leave. Rob now just watching Jordan. Do you think this is part of Rob's advantage? Do you think Rob wants this to be a two-on-one match? I don't know. He's just watching Jordan leave. Yeah, I think this is part of the advantage because once Jordan leaves, it's Robin Perkin versus Javon. There's nothing Jordan could do. Javon has pulled some wild stuff out of his ass, though. Like, he beat Big H that one time. It's true. That's very true. I guess if anyone's got the endurance, it's Javon. Jordan. Look at him slamming down Perkin as Jordan gets oh, out of the cage. Super kick from Javon. So, yeah, Jordan's already escaped. All Javon has to do to retain is to also escape, but he's in there with... Uh, Two wrestling legends and Robin Perkin. Honestly, I have no words. Like I'm shocked that Javon didn't run. Do he you, tends to do that. Do you think? Do you think their plan was to get out of the cage as quickly as possible, and Javon I just wasn't not. able to this do is, it? This is brutal. Oh, Perkin okay, might be escaping. Okay I feel much better. Go away, Perkin. As now, oh, Javon, though. What the hell is Rob doing? Rob is just waiting. This is a very cautious Rob. Oh, now Javon's oh! going after Rob. Nice That's kick. That's what I'm talking about. Javon looking like the Green Goblin over here. <laughs> As Taking Perkin. on the British Invasion single-handedly. And now Perkin with a DDT on Javon. And now Rob, look at this double team right now. Ah. Oh. oh. Look oh at Javon God. getting back up after every hit, though. The power oh. and strength of Javon as he's able to take it from these two British brutes. Yeah, this is the former tag team champions really going after it. The ginger end, there it is. Oh, no. Wow. Now Perkin Just with the submission. Finisher and submission. This is oh. not good for Javon. Jordan... Look at, look at Jordan. <laughs> Jordan trying to cheer on their friend Javon. Oh, oh and hit to the knee. Oh, Perkins trying to get out of here. Let Rob beat up Javon. It might, I get it. It might go down to Javon and Rob in this matchup. Yeah, as Rob is kind of guarding Perkins, making sure he's able to uh, get out of this cage. Does Javon even care to stop Perkin? I mean... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rob's trying to escape oh, now. Oh, man. Oh, Perkin's off the rope. Trying to... Oh! Ooh. 
Rob changes his mind and goes after Javon saying, oh. no way out, buddy. Yeah, Rob making sure Javon couldn't chase Perkin down. Very smart. I believe Perkin has officially escaped. Does he have to uh, land? Yeah, well, he's got to get. There it is. He has officially escaped. Look, look at, at these Rob. two. Rob being a cocky little lad. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, he could be escaping the cage, Rob, but whatever. Oh. He wants to show off, show that he's a wrestling champ, and beat up Javon some more. And it all comes down to oh. these two. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that ref doesn't him. even care. Oh, Javon, though, reversing. Good recovery. Ooh. There we go. This is this is what Javon needed to try to get back into this matchup. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh. Ooh. Good kick by Javon onto Rob there. He's just got to get Rob down and out of the way so he can escape. Yeah, got to make sure Rob can get out and make sure Rob stays down. I assume Javon was over his height fears after he climbed that ladder and grabbed that belt last week, but maybe that's why he wasn't able to escape right away. Just the oh. nervousness of everyone around him as he continues to beat up Rob. Yeah, there we go. Driver there. Here we go. This could be it. Oh! Oh, no! That was awesome. Slamming down on Rob. Javon I'm celebrating Javon. Try, trying to hype up the fans. Oh. Give me a little smooch. Saying goodbye. Here we go. But Rob does right there. Rob going back after him, knocking oh. him down. Uh-oh. And Rob is trying to escape. Javon's trying to escape. This might turn into a race, folks. All that beating up of each other doesn't even slow them down as Rob gets to the top. Now Javon to the oh. top. Oh, as man. As Rob. This Rob's is trying to climb good. over. Javon's trying to attack him. Javon hitting him. Who's going to fall first? Oh, oh, Rob's teetering. Oh, uh -oh. look at Rob. Oh, hitting him. Oh my god, this is this is anxiety field right now. Javon gets oh! thrown off! And that is why he's afraid of heights as Rob climbs over. No way, is this it already? Javon trying to get back up. Javon's Going trying back to climb up. Rob. Rob climbing. All Rob has to do is get his Just feet on down. the ground. Javon trying to climb to catch him. Can he make it? No! New champions. Unbelievable, Ace. We have new tag team champions. Once again, ah, oh, Javon, if he could have gotten out there earlier, could have beat up Rob, it would have been so close. Javon was so close at the end there. Did you see right before Rob had his feet up, Javon was about to get over to the ring and maybe could have tried to catch him. Yeah, right there, Javon was about to climb up, but it was too late late too little Mikhail's not gonna be happy with this one yeah I don't know what Mikhail's thinking right now the tag team titles are once again with the British wrestling invasion JBH I can't believe it I thought the click would have been the saviors and the heroes I needed but I was wrong they are back in action who can save us from the British invasion who could stop this tag team? Well, well, folks. We'll have to find out another time. What a what a disappointing night for me. What a very fun night. Thank you all yeah. for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it! Ace! Monday Night Call! It's bigger! It's better than it's ever been! The newest season! We've been kicking ass every Monday night, 7 p.m. Monday Night Caw, tune in, big show, every Monday, before Raw, for at least an hour, typically. Join us, and don't forget, PWF, every Thursday night, on the Shockwave Sports Channel. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. Shut up, Mikhail.